that my chick is home. Hello everybody, my name is Square Mario, and welcome to another tutorial here on my channel. As you can see, we are on my desktop today, um, because today I'll be showing you, yes you, how to make your very own uh, Minecraft YouTube thumbnail for free using a web program called Pixlr. So, um, this is the second time I am recording this, because I thought... Uh, my computer was recording it, but it turns out it wasn't so I'm just gonna show you really quick Something that's uh, along the lines of what you will get with this tutorial. So first um, This tutorial is split into uh, Around four or five steps. So the first step um, is the background But uh, first few steps of course the min the baby steps They'll say you want to open your Google or whatever you use to browse the internet and you want to type the URL, pick, not Optifine, pixlr.com. Link will be in the description. So this is what you're going to use to make your Minecraft thumbnail. You want to click Pixlr Editor on the left side and click Launch Web App. So I will be showing you what I've made before um, along the lines of what you'll get with this tutorial. So I made this. Uh, it took me like 10 to 15 minutes pretty easy to do uh, if you know how to do it so I hope this tutorial will help you guys so we're gonna refresh the page here because this is something I already made and we're going to start from scratch here so you'll get this menu uh, with the pixlr editor and you want to click create a new image and for width you want to enter 1280 and for height you want to enter 720 so those numbers are the dimensions of the YouTube thumbnail sort of dealios and if you forget those numbers it will be in the description as well so no need to worry and yeah you want to check this transparent box because that is very important for what I'm going to show you next uh, you want to click OK and you'll get this sort of checkerboard rectangle sort of dealio and yeah so the first step is getting a background into your thumbnail so let's say you're making a Minecraft survival games thumbnail for your survival games series on YouTube um, so what you want to do is head over to Google Images and search up like a map or something. You want to sort of get it shaders, because um, shaders look nice. You don't want too dramatic lighting because we're going to add that inside anyways. So I just chose Alaskan Village and what you want to do, I chose this picture. Um, looks nice. So you want to choose a picture with high dimensions here, like this is 1024 by 528 so you don't want to just drag it on your desktop because um, you won't get the full size. You want to click this view image button and click right click and save as. I already have it because I tried recording this one as well but you know recording fails. So once you have that picture on your desktop or wherever you saved it uh, you want to go back to your Pixlr, click on file once more and click open image and you want to go back a notch because this is not where I've saved it um, and you want to get your background image and open it up into your Pixlr so here uh, this is a very important tab here don't press this X I've made that mistake many times so I'm actually gonna extend this a little but yeah you want to right click this background layer and click duplicate and now what you want to do you want to left click and drag it onto the rectangular checkerboard transparent box so now as you can see it doesn't cover the whole uh, what you call it the whole box so we're gonna have to do something about that and what you want to do uh, you want to go up here to edit and you want to slide down to free transform and now you want to sort of drag this to the middle of the screen and just keep the same with ratio so the deal and just drag it a whole time and now you want to save the changes and now you can sort of move it around a little bit nope guess not okay it's okay just match it up again but yeah that's your background and it's pretty nice we have the nuclear power thing of Alaskan village here and that is the first step completed um, now the second step is sort of adding your secondary layers that sort of add a little bit of something to your thumbnail so 
Of course, if you're a Minecraft player, uh, you want to put the Minecraft logo in most of the time. So you can just search up Minecraft logo, but you want to make sure you add this word transparent here because that will make sure the background is transparent and you just want to get one of them and save them to your desktop. Save it to your desktop like you've done with the previous image. I already have one, so I'm not going to bother. I'm actually going to close these other uh, tabs there. and. Yeah, now you want to go back up the file and open another image like we did with the background. So this is a whole nother tab, so um, if you want to get it to the main thumbnail, you want to just duplicate it and drag it on there again. So as you can see, that's actually kind of big. So what you want to do is use the free transform feature um, I told you about earlier and sort of just shape it to your liking. So I like it about that big. And you so I'm click somewhere else on the screen and click on yes and there you have it uh, your minecraft logo I want to get it sort of two-thirds above the page so that is one of your secondary images that you put on top of your uh, thumbnail or background so now if you're doing minecraft you probably want your minecraft character in there right so this is a survival games thumbnail so we're going to use the skin of the PvP god himself, Wahoo. So you want to head over to this URL here, minecraft.novaskin.me. Um, and yeah, you don't want to click on these uh, little pop-ups on the side if you have adblock, I don't think you'll have them. We're going to X them out here. Uh, this does have a lot of pop-ups and cookies and stuff, but yeah, it's, it's a good website. It's free, you can edit. So you want to just search up your Minecraft username here. Uh, I just looked up Huawei there. Yeah, there's some inappropriate skins, but yeah, see if you search up Square Mario and press enter, you'll get my skin there. But we're going to work with Huawei. Excuse me. And, oh my god, burpsies. And you can sort of move them around using your middle click button, which is your sliding thing that scrolls you up and down the page and you can just click on him to move him around through perspective wise and then you want to click on the pose tab up here and this is where we're gonna pose him up we want sort of like this maybe and yeah so you can just play with this uh, bend the arm maybe um, oh oops uh, oh that's body I bent the body and you want to sort of bend the arm if you want him to hold an item. Bend the arm like that. You kind of just want to play with it. Um, so, I already did one of these. So, I'm going to save some time off camera. You can figure this out. And to put items, you want to click hold right. And let's say you want him to have a diamond sword like that. Put it in there. And he'll have it. So, once you're done with that, you want to click photo and kind of just right click it and save it but I, again I already do have one so um, once you have that step a uh, little baby step again you want to click open image and sort of take what you have and put it here so this is the one I had before it looks a lot better um, I have foot and steel in his left hand so again I want to duplicate this and put it on there uh, so now we can move him with uh, freedom and I kind of want to move Minecraft up a little. If you want to move a different object, you have to go to the layer that it's on. So if I go here and try to move it, I'll just be moving Huawei. I won't actually be moving Minecraft. So I have to go to the Minecraft layer to edit Minecraft. So now we have Huawei on the side there, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, we move on to step three, uh, big step as well, which is uh, text and labeling stuff so you want to click this a down here in your tools and you just want to click anywhere on the screen and uh, you want to set the size to maybe full and you want to type sir uh, let's see I, I want it in all caps so survival I'm gonna skip a line and type games so as you can tell it looks really bad right now but we're gonna fix that up so we can just highlight that um, and I want it to be white so we're gonna choose the color white here white and that's a really ugly uh, text so um, another website I recommend going to is called thefont.com 
Uh, link will be in the description if you'd like. There are thousands of fonts for you to download and such. This is not a tutorial about how to download a font, but if you would like that, you, uh, just comment below and I'll probably guide you through. So you want to download some fonts that you like that aren't in here and just install them into your fonts folder. And yeah, so they will be in here. So I like this font called Big Noodle Titling. Um, and a lot of people use that, so it's nice. Uh, so you want to align this centered, and that is our survival games label, uh, like so. You want to just plop that in the center, like so. And you can do whatever font you like or whatever text. I'm just using survival games as an example for you. Um, and if you want to move Wahoo closer, maybe like over here, maybe in the middle, like you can just put them right there. Now, don't you feel like he's missing something? Of course, we need an episode number. So we're gonna put it in the bottom left corner here. So let's say you decide, um, hey, I wanna make this a long going series. So you know, a lot of people like doing zero, zero, and one. And we're gonna make this white to match the uh, survival games. Um, there, so you can make this uh, big noodle title link if you'd like, or uh, what I did in the other thumbnail is make it a Minecraft font, the in-game one, not like, uh, I, uh, let's see, where is it, where is it, where is that? So like that, um, you can do that, that is what I like, um, I would suggest toning down the size then, uh, because that is kind of big. It's at 99, and we're just gonna move it over here. So your thumbnail is done. Just kidding. It is not even close to done right now. You see, what do you think it's missing? Yeah, lighting. If you said that, you're right. So this is what I'd say the most important part of the thumbnail is the lighting. So you just want to go to Google Images here and search up texture and you'll get a bunch of cool ones. And I decided, uh, I went with this last time. This is sort of like dark, gloomy-ish. Um, you can search up art here. Oh yeah, this is nice. Um, we're gonna use this blue one. Again, you want it had in high dimensions. That just always helps. Oh, I can't speak. I'm so spitty. I'm so thirsty. I'm gonna get some water after this. All right, so you wanna click save image and of course, save it, or you usually save it. Um, no, don't, don't, don't select it. Bruh, all right. Just save it there in the folder that you want it. Click save it as that. I don't even know. What, what the heck? I think I messed it up. Alright, just save image in textures. Yeah. There we go. So now you want to exit that out. And this is probably the last thing we're inserting. I know. Kind of a long process. But if you'd like a cool thumbnail, that's what you need to do. You want to just open it up here. Whoa, isn't that cool? So you want to duplicate this and just drag it in there. So as you can see, it covers up the whole thing. Don't worry, your layers are still underneath. No need to worry. This kind of freaks people out sometimes. It did freak me out the first time I tried it. But now is the important part with textures and lighting and such. You want to drag it um, so that it's above one layer above your background, like so. Um, so it will affect your background. Uh, won't, it's not replacing it here, but um, it will affect it and your other things will still be on top. So what you want to do is click this little control panel icon here and lower the opacity so you can actually see your background there. And now you kind of want to do it so you can see the texture and the background. And the texture sort of affects the background in a cool way. So yeah, doesn't that look awesome? So yeah, that is lighting in a nutshell. So now, still looks like the text is a little sharp, huh? So I know what we need to fix that. So we're gonna edit the text here first off. Um, you wanna click this icon that sort of looks like an explosion. And you want, uh, first of all, I'm gonna edit drop shadow. Um, you wanna extend the distance a little and make it kinda size, size it up. And that is cool. I wouldn't play. I, I'm not gonna play with bevel here because it sort of makes your text look funny. And the inner shadow, eh, I'm not a huge fan of it. But the outer glow is definitely something I like. Uh, we have a blue color scheme, so we're gonna go with this sort of navy ish blue. So we wanna make it sort of harder and 
to size it up a bit. And the inner glow, this will affect the white. And this is the good stuff here. You want to kind of make it creep up on the white slowly. Uh, like so. So yeah, that's a, that is a huge improvement. So now, you're, we just need to edit the 001 and the Minecraft. So, we're going to go to 001 and do the same thing. Click the layer styles, little explosion icon, and sort of do similar things. Make a good distance for the shadow and make it like shadowy. Shadowy shadow. And then, give it a nice outer glow. Boom. Bruh. And give it a nice inner glow. Make it creep up on the white like that. Yeah, that looks cool, huh? Now let us go to the Minecraft. So again, you need to select the correct layer. That's what a lot of people struggle on. And click layer styles. We're gonna give it a drop shadow like the other ones. Like that. Give it a nice outer glow like that. Uh, that's too dark. Just make it creep a little bit. And then give it a little bit of inner shadow there. So yeah, that is cool, huh? And then, you can edit Huawei if you'd like, but we're just gonna give Huawei a simple, uh, no, not in the shadow. We're just gonna give him a simple shadow, since he's a human being. Hold on, we're on in outer shadow, so we're gonna give him something like that. And we're not gonna give him any blue, because... And actually, on second thought, we're gonna give him some blue. Looks like he needs some blue. stuff. Alright, so that that's pretty good. Um, see, the lighting really makes it more dramatic. Uh, I didn't choose the best of textures and stuff. Of course, you can layer more uh, backgrounds in there if you'd like, but this tutorial is getting a little long. This is just the basis, basic four steps that I planned out that I think are the most important in making a good thumbnail. So now, this is probably the most important thing. Saving. If you don't save it, you'll never be able to save. See it again. So since you want to access the, uh, you want to be able to change the episode number each time, you want to click this slide down tab and go down to PXD. Um, that will keep all the layers here so that you can edit the text. Um, but you won't be able to open it on the computer if you don't have a program that can do so. You want to just save it as, I'm going to save it as Minecraft SG thumbnail tutorial um, and we're gonna save it here put it in desktop and in our well, uh, yeah, yeah. put it in GFX and already made so we'll click save here and now to show that it works we're going to refresh the page and get rid of all of this so now it's all gone and instead of create clicking create new image we want to open it from our computer and click this. This is the one we just made and click open and we will have it kablammy. But somehow it's a weird glitch. Um, this text does get out of center so you want to just align it again. So yeah, now uh, let's say you're on episode two. Um, just go here and change that to two. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial guys. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like. Um, if you want to see more tutorials like this and subscribe of course if you haven't already for more awesome tutorials and daily minecraft videos so yeah my name has been square mario and yeah hopefully you found this useful and i'll see you guys next time peace out goodbye